All right, my friends, so welcome to part three of lesson four. We're taking a look at colors and lines, and this is the part where they give us some programming stacks to take a look at ourselves to understand this. And so in part three, they're going to have us look at the first two programming stacks, and this is the one where we press the left button and the right button. And you can see here in the comments, it's explaining what they have going on. It says, to press the left button to run this program, it's going to turn the drive base until the color sensor detects the black line. So if we look at this code, what we can see here is that it's going to stop all stacks. So if you're running any of these previous ones, it'll stop them. We're only moving one motor, and in this case, it's the C motor. And so you're going to see that your C motor is going to move at 50% speed. The other mo motor is not moving, so your wheel is not moving. And if we can think back to our earlier lessons, you remember what kind of turn that was? A little pop quiz there for you. And then we can see here next that we have our color sensor block program from the sensor panel here, the blue blocks here. And it's going to keep the motor, motor moving until our color sensor detects the color black. And when it does, then it's going to move down to the next block, which is going to stop the motor. So if we run our program here, I'm going to go ahead and switch this over. You're going to see here then that when I press the left button, and you'll be able to demo this as, as well. Let me get my finger here out of the way. You can see that our brick here, our motor was spinning right here until our color sensor detected black and then it stopped. So you could do this for a variety of things. You could have this where both motors are going, moving forward until a color is detected. That's a very um, important skill or strategy, especially in first LEGO League, looking to detect certain colors and then making decisions. So if we run that again here, we can see that option. Now, if we go back to the second stack, programming stack, we have the right button. And on the right button here, it's going to have the driving base follow a line. Line following, again, very important. We've been talking about this this whole lesson. Again, if you're in first LEGO League, line following is an essential skill that you're going to need. So I'm going to go ahead and set my robot here. It's at the very end of the screen. And what's going to happen now is running an infinite loop. We can see that here in the forever block. And then we've got an if else statement. So if, now we're looking at reflected light intensity. We're not looking for the color black necessarily. And if it's less than 50%, then it's going to move. You can see here one motor at 50%, the other one at zero. If it's greater than 50%, that would be this else then. So if it's less than, it's going to move right here, 50 and zero. If it's not, then it bounces down to this else statement. And you can see that we're going to move the other motor, and we're going to, so it's going to go wibbly wobbly as we run this. So let's go ahead here and uh, run this and see what happens. And obviously, you can do this uh, at home as well. And so we can see our robot kind of following that line, just kind of wobbling back and forth there while we run that. And so we've got those two programming stacks to take a look at how to follow a line and how to detect a line. So I want you to go ahead and explore this a little bit. And when you're ready to proceed, let's go ahead and move on to part four, where we're going to take a look at how to calibrate our light sensor and why that might be important. All right, my friends, as always, stay awesome. Peace. Oh, my God.